Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. We have a very exciting video for you guys today because, well, Laura, 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 is behind the camera. <laughs> I am so excited. She has drove, no, you haven't drove. I haven't drove. You have trained all the way from the Lake District, her hometown. She has joined me for a very exciting Friday today because we are going to be filming with Channel 5. My Greg's video were picked up by Channel 5 and they are doing a Greg's documentary. So a documentary all about what it's like to work at Greg's. And they saw my YouTube video, which I posted in December and they were like we really want you to get involved so I said yes of course like my one chance to be on TV I've obviously all got permission from the producer to vlog the day I hope you enjoy the channel 5 filming vlog we're gonna be on TV Yay! and here he is rocking his face mask so that's my car all pulled up I just let out a nervous fart when I was out there I was so nervous I was like First I the burp, fart. Then the fart. The burp, the fart. all the gases are coming out Filming starts in 12 minutes. So we filled up the car because we're doing like a drive with me segment, aren't we? Yeah. Where basically we go to different Greg's and we point out that, you know, here's one in an industrial state, here's one by a train station, here's one here, here's one there. We're just gonna kind of go with the flows. This has been put on hold since, what, February? February. So mm -hmm. a very long time, but let's drive to filming. Now I'm like officially nervous. <laughs> dun, 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 <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a big clap just in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to arrive at the filming location. Here's the setup. I'm so excited to start them. First question, just for the camera, I'm going to Ben for the edit. Uh, what's your name? And, um, when did you work at Greg's, roughly, and what did you do? Okay, um, so my name is Jamie Dinnett, and I worked at Greg's at the start of my university career, so I was in my first year and I got it as a part-time job, and I absolutely fell in love with it. When I decided to move back home um, over the summer period and the Christmas period, I moved back into my local Greg's. What happens when you come in? Uh, what happens when the first jobs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're, you're average day when you come in. The average day would depend on kind of the shift pattern of the day. So some of the days I would start at 5 a.m. So I'd wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and that was early, very, very early. I think just start and you're just like, oh gosh, I've got to go to work. But you walk in and you get this giant crate of trays full of like donuts and Belgian buns and yum yums and things that the factory delivered earlier in that morning. Um, so all of the products are fresh and then when you walk in you basically have to just unload all of them onto the trays into the counters ready for sale um, and then once you kind of have done that you have to turn on the coffee machines and then you cook the baguettes so because the baguettes need to be used for the sandwiches and baguettes throughout the day and also for the breakfast um, they need to be cooked and also cooled and that can take, you know, up to half an hour, 45 minutes, so they need to be done as early as possible. Is there a specific order in the shop, a specific place they have to be, and what's the thinking behind that? Okay, so head office, every season they send a new kind of display, and normally most of the time that would include some of the new products, so for example limited edition products like the nacho cheese bake, the cancer chicken bake, and also things like mince pies at Christmas, so all of those have to be included. So every single season they will send out a new display of what your shop and storefront should look like. Have you ever been in a situation where you've run out of sausage rolls, say? And what, what do people say? So, there have been many occasions where we've run out of sausage rolls, all the sausage rolls go cold. That is the worst thing because you know that they're there and the customers are looking to see them. And I'm like, yeah, but they're warm, they're cold, I'm really sorry. Um, so, we actually have a button on the till. So, if ever there are no sausage rolls or there are cold products, we can press the button and offer the customer something free of charge, which is normally either a sweet product or as a drink. And most of the time, you just go to the customer, like, I'm really sorry, but sausage rolls are going to take another 18 20 minutes to cook. I can offer you a free drink or a free sweet snack, and then you can just insert it into the tail when it comes off the stock list. What is it like working for Greg's? What's Greg's like as a company to work for? 
it's really, really lovely, and they really treat you with a lot of respect, and they give you a lot of responsibility as employees as well, um, and I think that's the wonderful thing. Um, they also give you like extra bonuses if your store does really, really well and successfully. So we have something called a secret shopper, which once a month, a secret shopper from that office will come in, and they will buy something, and you never know what's going to happen, you never know what you're going to order, you never know who it is, but then they will write a review based on the counter looks like, whether it suits head office's rules, whether the store is appropriately laid down, whether everything is warm and fresh and everything that is best selling is fully stocked because you've got like the star and gold star labels which have to be always on stock. They have to be always there for the customer. Um, so that's what the secret shopper does. That's it. Oh, this bit. That was really good. Oh, that was excellent. Thank you. Are you excited? I'm going to win. You're going to win. You're not going to beat me. <laughs> Team Laura. Or Team Jamie. Okay, so we've just done the little Q&A part, which was really, really good fun, really, really successful. I thought my answers were good, so I'm just hoping that, um, yeah, they're good. So we've just come into the kitchen, and we're now going to be doing the prepping of the bacon sarni section, which I'm so pretty excited about, because who doesn't love a good bacon sarni? I think it's going to be really good to try and make one again. This is the little kitchen, his little kitchen tour. Here's the oven that we're going to be cooking in, and the little ring light. Let's get on with the rest of the filming. Okay, so in the morning in breakfast, the first thing we have to do is to get all of the baguettes onto a tray to go into the oven. So as you can see here, we've got all of the baguettes ready to go into the oven. Welcome to my bakery. So I'm just prepping the breakfast baguettes at the moment. Chop chop! <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make our classic uh, bacon baguette. So what we start off with is a nicely cooked cool baguette. Some stores actually don't butter their baguettes at all for breakfast. Some do standard bacon baguette, you add three slices, and then you ask the customer whether they want red or brown sauce. So in this case we have good old brown sauce, so we're going to be adding some of that into our bacon baguette. <laughs> it's coming. Is it coming? Yes it is. Okay, this is going to be fun, fun, fun. I'm ready to go. I'm, ready to go. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, especially against my competitor. I feel like she's going to be secretly very, very good, even though she's never done it before. But I feel like she's got some tricks up her sleeve to try and stop me from doing well. Well, he's given no secrets away, so I don't know order to put it in or anything, so hopefully I can make it up on the spot and win this great connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. This is how we have our work stations get. If you stepped in behind a scene in Greg's, this is what it would look like. Absolute chaos. Are you meant to keep it clean? Yeah, oh, massively. I don't even know how long it's been. I'm just like bashing them out. Where's my sandwich? Stop taking my sandwich. <laughs> look at this one, falling in your heart. See, that'd have to go back. <laughs> Here are hers. Do you think you did successfully? Oh. Do you want. Well. I mean, look at these poor quality baguettes. What are we doing now, Jamie? So we have GoPros stuck to my car window. And a huge camera And a in huge the camera in the back. <laughs> and we are going on a drive with me to spot the different Greggs in my local area. I'm so excited, but let's just hope I don't stall or anything like that. But it's so weird having cameras like looking directly at me whilst I'm driving. I'm going to have to be like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> have both ads on the road. We're now doing our little... Drive, drive with me segment. So Jamie's going to show me all the different Greggs that are around his area in different ways, I think. Yeah, so we're going to like a cafe in a town centre, we're going to an industrial estate, and we are going to a garage station as well. And yeah. we've got the little GoPro set up, we've got the other car following us behind. Yeah, and they're behind, and the huge camera behind <laughs> us. It's such a weird experience, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what is going on? Like, um, people are watching us. People are watching us. Mic'd up. up. <laughs> We're mic'd up, yeah. So our mics, we've got little mics stuck Where's to our chairs. There's my little mic. Don't wear a bodysuit when you've got to get mic'd no. up. No. But it's actually been such a really good day, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been good. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. Make sure to watch it when it's on Channel 5. Yes, I will obviously let you guys know when it is going live on Channel 5 and on TV so you guys can watch it. And hopefully this vlog should be going live around a similar time, if not a little earlier. But I'm not allowed to give too much away before then. So this is being filmed on August 13th. Am yeah, I right? No, yeah, 14th. Oh no, 14th. August so this is 14th. being filmed on 2020. August 14th. 2020, August 14th. <laughs> and yeah we'll see when this does go live they're looking to upload it in autumn so that's really quick isn't it yeah i thought 
it would be a much smaller, uh, longer turnaround. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Jamie smashed his interview. Oh, I hope he so. He did such a good job. I hope they like it. Yeah. And I feel like they were happy with your answer because it was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, Jamie. What's happening now, Jamie? Getting surrounded by <laughs> GoPros. Um, so they're attaching GoPros to the sides and the top of my car. Microphones hurt your spine, folks. So we are on our third and final location. We have just driven about half an hour away from the original destination we just were. And we are just getting the camera all set up with like GoPros on the side of the car. So I don't know if you can see that one, but there's just GoPros on the top of my roof and at the side, like filming different sections yeah. of the car. There's one down there as well. And basically it's just getting footage of us driving around so that when they do the final edit of the documentary, then they've got some really kind of aesthetic cool shots of the car driving to the different locations so that's what we're doing at the moment have you enjoyed yourself i've had a ball, had a ball. <laughs> and we're just planning our evening whilst on our little driving session aren't yeah, we I'm getting a tour of the area i just can't believe that there's a literal I want to see gopro stuck to my window. Do you know what's annoying me? There's a cobweb on the window on the mirror. What cobweb? <laughs> oh yeah, the cobweb on the mirror. The thing is, they never told me like to clean my car, so I feel really bad that my car is like so dirty because it's so dirty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, the camera from the back is gone now. That was recording your alvol volume. Our voices, yeah. Our voices. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap folks. So we've cool. just finished and it was a really really good successful day wasn't it? Yeah it was fun. A very long day. I mean we started at 9.30 and it's now 4 o'clock but still very very like successful. It's been that long. Yeah exactly. The day's gone by super super quickly. <laughs> they loved all the footage. They got all the footage they wanted. I'm just so excited for it to come out now in a couple of months. I can't believe like I can't show you guys the finished product yeah. but yeah I can't wait. They were so lovely as well. Yeah, they were such lovely people. It was so nice to work with such lovely people. So thank you very much if you are watching this video for kitting us out and helping us to have a lovely, comfortable day because I was very nervous this morning. But yeah. throughout the day, I was just more and more relaxed. It was so much fun doing the challenge. Yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed all of the behind the scenes content. It was so crazy, like being able to film all of that for you. I feel so, so lucky and grateful. But now we're just going to head home. I'm kind of craving a milkshake from McDonald's, not gonna lie. We can get a, milk a celebratory, a celebratory milkshake. So we're gonna go get a milkshake, and I will see you. The next clip I will probably do is when it airs. Oh, ah! I won't be there to watch it. Oh, now. we can watch it over Facetime. Okay. But that will be the next clip. So enjoy us watching the Channel Five documentary about Greg's. Yeah. Hello, beautiful people. So it has been a whole ten months since Laura and I got together to film the Inside Greg's documentary, and I can't believe it's been that long. It is now now the 27th of May which when I was watching this footage back I was like how how where have 10 months gone I look completely different I my hair I now have blonde highlights I feel like so much in my life has changed when we filmed that footage I had not even gone into my final year at university I am now an English literature graduate so I'm no longer a student anymore so much this last 10 months have absolutely flown by and we got the exciting email this is the crazy thing Laura and I hadn't seen each other since that filming weekend and obviously we started university then the pandemic happened and we were on our second and third lockdown all the way from the end of October to I want to say mid to end March even mid April I want to say it was extended to we then decided to go out for a celebratory trip away and we went to Brighton for four days and it was within that four days that Laura and I were sitting at a cafe and we got the email saying that the Greg's documentary was going to be on Wednesday 26th of March at 8pm on Channel 5. So it is now available to watch and to stream online so you can watch it on My5 I believe it's called on Catch Up. It streamed yesterday live and I received so many amazing incredible lovely heartfelt messages and posts and Instagram stories from all you beautiful people and my family and my friends saying kind of how proud they were of us and of me and just how surprised they were because 
I had kept it so under wraps. Watching the documentary last night, I couldn't be more proud of myself. I couldn't be happier. Laura, I'm so frigging proud of her. I have the bestest friend in the entire world for her to come down and do it and be so confident. And I know she's watching this, so I just want to say a huge thank you and love you so much, Law. I will leave everything in the description box below if you guys want to watch it or if you haven't seen it, then you can stream it yourself to watch myself on national television. I just can't believe it. I'm currently sitting on my um on my sitting room floor. Here is the here is the show, here is the documentary, here is me in the reflection. So it is on Channel 5, it's called Inside Greg's, Britain's Best Bakery. So they do a whole entire series of Inside Blank and they've done Aldi and other shops like that. Uh, but obviously yesterday they came out with their new, brand new release which was Greg's. I am in this show so blooming much. I thought, I don't know if anyone's ever seen that Gavin and Stacey episode where Mick, he um, does like an interview for, I think it's like he finds a dead body or something and he does an interview and he thinks he's going to be like on it the entire time and he literally has a few words and everyone like has this huge viewing party and they're just like, well that's all good. He was on it for like one second. I thought that's what I was going to be like. So I was kind of like expecting not a lot. However, I... I am on it throughout. There's not like one specific section. I My little interview segment happens throughout, which is just insane. I'm one of the last people to speak in the entire episode. Laura and I have our entire driving bit in. We have our entire food making bit in. I, I can't believe how different I look. I'm gonna get it up and I'm gonna show you the end bit where I do speak and like kind of like end, end the documentary. I don't end it, but I kind of like have one of the final lines. Okay, I'm about to come on because, you know, sausage roll is 95p and the donut is 65p and I think, you know, £1.50 for a good taste There's of me! Lunch, you just can't go wrong. There's me on the TV! That was my voice over all those fancy pictures. And that's the end! That is the end! I'm literally like the last interview! So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and today's vlog. Like I said, it was, it's been a long time coming and I'm so glad to be sharing it with you guys, to be posting this vlog, to be taking you behind the scenes, to just be kind of like announcing it. Without you guys and without my channel, this wouldn't be happening and this wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much guys for watching today's video. If you did like it, don't forget to smash the like button and of course subscribe down below for more Jamie J content and I will see you in my next video and my next vlog. Bye guys, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.